In the old days, folk singers told us the news. Something would happen, a battle, a shipwreck, a horrible murder. And somebody would write it up on a broadsheet ballad and sing it in the street. And over time, the news would become history. And in time, maybe the history would be forgotten, but we still sing those songs. Now these days, we don't need folk singers to tell us the news. We all have the news in our pockets 24-7. And news becomes old news and is forgotten. But maybe we need the songs to help us remember, because it all comes round again. This is a song I wrote about some things that happened in Charleston, South Carolina in 2015. A young man came to a house of prayer. They did not ask what brought him there. He was not friend, he was not kin. But they opened the door and let him in. And for an hour the stranger stayed. He sat with them and he seemed to pray. But then the young man drew a gun and killed nine people, old and in Charleston in the month of June, the mourners gathered in a room. The president came to speak some words, and the cameras rolled and the nation heard. But no words could say what must be said for all the living and the dead. So on that day and in that President said, Amazing Grace. The President sang, Amazing Grace. We argued where to lay the blame on one man's hate or our nation's shame. Some sickness of the mind or soul, and how the But no words could say what must be said for all the living and the dead. So on that day and in that place, the president sang amazing grace. My president sang amazing grace. to change things. We need to do more than remember the names. We need to do more than sing. But singing is a start. Will you sing with me?
Thank you. Zoe Mulford. <laughs>